Hey, real quick, um, what happened here? Um, everything was masked off, but I forgot to cover all this with paper uh, before I painted the outside. So, generally, I covered the whole dash, but I didn't cover this. Um, and normally, I do. I cover everything inside the engine compartment, everything inside here. But this time, I just forgot. Um, so, I'm going to show you guys uh, one of the things that I've used over the years uh, to clean up old cars and it does work fairly well and it's super cheap how about that something cheap that works well all right um, and I a lot of times I'll use this like if I buy an old car let's say I bought old cars and uh, I want to restore the finish on them you know but I don't want to get the buffer out right away it, it has like a heavy layer of scum all over the car there's no um, there's no uh, there, there there's you know there's no shine to it and it just looks terrible um, what I'll use is this real quick and I'll kind of show you what I did on the other side a bit um, I'm not done with it obviously but I haven't done this side yet um, maybe I'll do a sample over here in a second and show you how much better it is um, it doesn't make it perfectly brand new perfect but it certainly does make it like right now hear that when you wipe it this happens underneath your hood jams a lot of times when you spray the outside of the car the little bit of paint just goes between this crack right here and just goes into there and it just becomes a real fine 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 mist and lands on everything and makes it just crappy feeling so I'll show you how one of the ways that I've fixed this before, um, and it's not perfect, it doesn't work on everything. I would always say, before you do the whole area, do a sample. Never do everything of anything. And if you're doing, if you're worried about a paint sticking, put a sample on. If you're worried about uh, like a product you wanna use, before you do the whole thing, do a sample area, and make sure that it's not going to have a reaction or a problem that you can't fix. So you ne never do anything complete before you try a sample somewhere inconspicuous. So what I used over here, um, you can see a little bit of hand mark on it, but you can feel it. It's nice and smooth. Right here, I haven't done yet. I did it right here. It's nice and smooth. It looks a little bit better. Um, you know, you try rubbing compound. Because rubbing comp, you know, but I'm going to tell you right now, it's not going to do it. This just doesn't have enough grit to it. So what you use, I use Ajax or Comet. We used to call it a Comet bath. When we got an old piece of crap car, um, wanted and the paint looked good, but it just looked really dingy, looked really bad. We used to just grab a couple of these things because they were... Back then they were 15 cents or something like that. Now they're a buck, I think. But, uh, you know, it was like so cheap. You just sprinkle it all over the car. One whole, one of these things. I mean, you do sections at a time. We just do like the fender, then the other fender, then the door. And just wipe the whole thing down with, with some Ajax or Comet. And the grit that's in there would just restore the old paint. So it's not 100% perfect. doesn't work on every finish. Um, so you've got to use a sample area, but let's take a look at the other side and see if it does help it any do some scrubbing check it out So you can see with just a damp towel it doesn't even touch it. I mean it it doesn't look it right here I haven't been able to get it. I might have a little bit of comment on there or a Ajax um, sprinkle some on It's not easy, guys. It's not a quick, easy solution. But you use rubbing compound, and you'll see this does cut a lot faster than rubbing compound. And when you're doing with those old paint on an old car, um, the bleach that's in there really helps keep it clean. This rag could be used to be a little bit... Um, but the reason why I'm not using a polisher to do this is because, see these bumps everywhere? Um, this, these bumps, uh, 
There's, there's some places like in the engine compartment and, and underneath the hood on the old bug if you're doing a bug. When you do the outside, you, you cover it all, but that clear breaks up and ends up underneath everything. So let's see how much better it looks. It's not going to look brand new. I mean, it will if you polish it enough. Look how much better that is. I still have to do more right here. You can see that. You can see the little haze there. But look how much better that looks. So, a little elbow grease. That's that's the overspray. That's without it. A little bit of elbow grease, and uh, you'll have everything looking pretty nice, especially underneath your seats, your engine compartment, stuff like that. Um, this really does uh, work well. Uh, let me just show you the difference between this and the compound. Let's take a look here. Sometimes I'll hit it with compound too, just to see. This is uh, 3M Super Duty. Probably it's a little water, watery because I, I let it set for a while. I've been using it. And that's probably the harshest compound they make. I don't know. And it doesn't seem to really do that much to this either. It doesn't work quite as quickly as the con as the and it's a lot cheaper. <laughs> I mean, that's still that's a dollar. This stuff's you know twenty bucks. This works okay too, but you know you can see that it would work. But it's going to take a lot longer and a lot more material. Um, and this works just as well, and it and it's m much cheaper, and it's easy. You know you don't have to deal with compound or buffing. You can do it all by hand. And make it look pretty good it's just another way um let's say you're somewhere where you can't buy any compound maybe you can't buy rubbing compound where you're at and they got a dollar store you know this is almost at every dollar store so you know you can use this it does work well as a compound little trick for you all right this we call this the comet bath <laughs> so if you get an old ride you want to get something to make the paint look better Try a comet bath for first before you go and repaint it, you know, or if you want to patina it, you want it to look old, you know, use the comet bath and see if it'll clean it up enough and make it look cool to go to the show in. All right, I'll talk to you in the next video.